a shared experience. The high speed developing. It was extremely eye opening. Learning experience for everyone. At another leg of the GYLD China tour, we are gathered in northwest China's Shanxi province this time. Our first stop, Yan'an. Global young leaders are here to know more about the history of the Communist Party of China, as the country is about to celebrate the 100th founding anniversary of the CPC. I've never been before in Yan'an, so this place has just opened some my eyes on the wind. Need not only to know about just one part about our country, but we need to know more about the whole history about these people. All the way down this super long hallway, hundreds of photos are exhibited on the wall, displaying the exchanges that were made、uh, between the Communist Party of China and friends from the international community during the revolutionary era. The first place、uh, which inspired me a lot is、uh, the memory of Mr.、Uh, Edgar Snow. He was one of the old Chinese friends, and he he spent his life to strengthen the, the friendship between China and his home country. Experienced these international friends in the exhibition, they expressed their regret. They believed that in this exhibition, they could better understand the history of the Communist Party of China and also better understand the future of the Communist Party of China. 为什么能够得到？是因为他们心中有人民，全心全意为人民。So over the years, Nango Village in southwest Yan'an has developed a multi-dimensional eco economy, and cherry planting and cherry picking is a very important part. Of this section, so today I'm going to join the rest of the group and to、uh, have a treat for ourselves picking cherries. We visited and we experienced the well-being of common people and how the Communist Party of China play an important role to make the better、uh, living conditions and to improve the quality of life of common Chinese people. So Yang Jialing Revolutionary Site marks yet another important part of history of the development of the CPC. So that was eye-opening because the Great Mao Zedong, growing his own vegetables, not having running water or very simple furnishings, that was extremely inspiring to me, because we're living in such a materialistic world that many of us forget how hard our ancestors. And those that came before us had to work to get those things. Before I was、uh, see in the in the TV, but today is my first time to come there. Really, it shocked for me. Because it's my first time to see the Qin Dynasty. The focus is very much on making the life of people better, or helping, for example, disabled people or people who have problems to find some technical solutions and also to make.、Uh, Learning process—it's very much people-based. On the last day of the GYLD China tour, Shanxi, we've come to Xi'an Beiling or Collection of Stone Steles Museum. So, unlike Terracotta Warriors Museum, it's much quieter here with fewer tourists. So one can truly relax and have an immersive experience to appreciate the beauty of Chinese calligraphies from different dynasties. As foreigners coming into China, yes, we learn a little bit of 
the history and the culture, but it's impossible to learn, you know, 5,000 years of history in such a short space of time. It made me more confident about our culture and our, like, the Shanxi, this place. It's my hometown. So I'm, I'm more confident with how this hometown can impress other foreigners. And I'm so proud of China right now. I feel so happy that the way the story is being told is beautiful. How China tells its story, how China communicates its history is very important. I think the GYLD project is about helping uh, foreigners in China and Chinese people together understand China's story, history, people, in exchange, understand us a little bit in the process as well. The tour has helped me, of course, to understand a few things much better because uh, if you're on the spot, it's a completely different experience uh, also in terms of um, understanding. Uh, I think the Shanxi tour is a very unique one. It just let the young foreigners to get to know the Chinese history, especially the history of CPC. The tour make the young foreigners better understand China, better understand Chinese development and the history and the achievements done in recent years.